Hello, hello, how are you? Hello, hello, how are you? Hello, hello, how are you? How are you today? Good morning, preschoolers. Today it is Thursday, October first. Today is our last class of the week. We will remember everything we have learned about the four seasons, and we will also do a special project to celebrate our book week. Let's get started. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Hooray! For three weeks, we have been talking about the seasons. First, we learned about winter, the coldest season of all. In winter, the weather is cold and it sometimes snow, so we must wear warm clothes like a hat, a jacket, a scarf, and some mittens. After the winter comes the spring. We learned that in spring, the weather is rainy, but we can see beautiful rainbows in the sky. And we can also see how the trees go, grow big and green, and beautiful colorful flowers start to bloom. The third season that we learned about is summer. During the summer, the weather is hot. So we learned that during summer, we can go to the beach and we can play with our friends. We can wear our swimsuits in the beach and we can eat delicious cold ice cream. And this week, we learned about fall. Fall is the last season. During the fall, the weather is windy and the leaves turn different colors like yellow, brown, and red. During the fall, the leaves fall down from the trees. And because the weather is windy, a fun activity that we can do is to fly our kites. And now, let's listen to a fun song about my friend Minnie Mouse and the different clothes that she can wear in each weather.
snowman in the snow. After the rain, I might see a rainbow. As the clouds move, I dance away. No matter the weather, it's gonna be a great day. Did you enjoy that song? I learned a lot from Minnie. And now we are going to take a break and play a fun game. It is called Guess the Thing. Look very closely at the video, pay attention, put on your thinking cap, and try to guess the picture of the things that show up. All of these things begin with the letter B. Can you guess all of them? Learn and learn ABCs. Let's get started. I see something purple. I wonder what that is. Oh look, I see an eye. That looks like a wing. Legs and a body. I think I know what this is. Butterfly! Butterfly starts with the letter B. Let's play again. There's nothing there. What's that? Nothing there either. I know what this is. Book. Book starts with the letter B. Let's play one more time. Oh, it's a face. Maybe those are legs? Are those antennae? I know what this is. There's the rest of the face. B starts with the letter B. Can you remember all of the things we discovered that started with the letter B? Butterfly, book, and B. Great job! Bye for now! Welcome back! How did you do? I hope you had a lot of fun! At the beginning of the class, I told you that this week we are celebrating Book Week. For this week, I want you to tell me what is your favorite book. My favorite book is Peter Pan. It is a story about a little boy that lives in the land of Neverland and he never grows up. My favorite character is Peter Pan. I like this book because it is very fun and I would love to visit Neverland one day. What about you? What is your favorite book? If you want to, you can send me a picture of you holding your favorite book. You can also send me a video where you tell me all about your favorite book. What is the name of your favorite book? what it is about, and why do you like it. Remember, this is only if you want to do it. I can't wait to hear you. Hi guys, we are almost finished with today's class. This last part 
we are going to work on a very special activity to celebrate Book Week. We are going to fill in our very own ABC book. You can find your own ABC book in resources in RenWeb. It looks like this. After you print it, we are going to fold it in half, like this. After we fold it in half, we are going to fold it one more time. And here we have our very own My ABC book. It has two different activities that we can fill in. On this first part, you are going to draw a picture of yourself. And you can also write your name right here in this letter house. When we open our little book, the first section says my letter. In this square, you are going to write your letter. For example, my letter is the letter A. So I am going to write the letter A in my little square. On the second page, we have our ABCs. Here we review the five letters that we have viewed so far. See each of the pictures and try to guess the letters. You can write the letters right here in each of the letter house. And after you write the letters, you can write another picture. For example, this is an apple. What is the letter for apple? It is the letter A. So we are going to write the letter A and then we can draw a picture right here of something that begins with the letter A. You are going to do the same thing with the ball, dinosaur, monkey, and snake. And in the last part, we are going to circle our letter. In my case, I am going to circle the letter A. What is your letter? I hope you have fun filling in your little ABC book. I hope you have fun filling in your little book and I can't wait to see you on our next class. Let's finish this class by listening to a story about some very famous toys. Toy Story, Starry Night. Guess what, Bonnie said to her toys one afternoon. We're doing something special tonight. The toys were arranged on top of Bonnie's bed. They couldn't wait to find out what the something special was. We're going on an adventure, Bonnie said, clapping her hands. Though they didn't make a peep, the toys all wondered what kind of adventure was in store. We're ready to go, said Bonnie, as she gathered her toys in a big tote bag. First, she picked up the toys her new friend Andy had given her, Woody the Cowboy, Buzz Lightyear, Slinky Dog, and all their pals. Next, she collected her beloved old toys, Buttercup the Unicorn, Trixie the Triceratops, a hedgehog called Mr. Pricklepants, and a ragdoll named Dolly. We're going to have so much fun, Bonnie told them excitedly. When Bonnie ran off to find a flashlight, the toys came to life. I hope there won't be any scary animals, Rex the dinosaur whispered. Maybe we're going to explore the attic, Trixie guessed. Before the friends could finish guessing, Bonnie burst in with a big smile. We're camping out, she announced as she scooped up the bag with all her favorite toys. Moments later, they were in a tent in Bonnie's very own backyard. Here we are, Bonnie said as she pulled the toys out of her bag. Rex, you sit next to Trixie. Buttercup, Woody, and Buzz, you'll be next to my sleeping bag. How about a picnic? Bonnie suggested as she passed out toy plates and food. Just then, they heard Bonnie's mom from outside the tent. Dinner time, she called. Bonnie jumped up. I've got to go eat my dinner, she said, but I'll be back soon. Left alone in the tent, the toys began to explore. This sure is comfortable, said Jessie, admiring Bonnie's puffy sleeping bag. Yes, the accommodations are quite satisfactory, Mr. Pricklepants agreed. 
Well, shine my spurs, Woody exclaimed, noticing an electric lantern on the ground. He turned it on, and a warm glow lit up the tent. Gather around, guys, he called out. Let's have a sing-along, Woody suggested. The cowboy began to sing Camp Town Races with his hat over his heart. Jesse soon joined in, and Bullseye stomped his hooves. And when the first song was over, everyone wanted to sing some more. After a few tunes, the toys decided to head outside to explore the backyard. Mr. Potato Head opened the tent flaps. The coast is clear, he said, peering out into the dark. Look, the stars are out, said Buttercup as soon as they got outside. Buzz smiled and pointed to a constellation. That, my friend, is the Big Dipper. Seven stars that form a ladle shape, he told his pals. I'm gonna explore the yard, Jesse shouted, hopping on Bullseye's back. Who wants to play freeze tag? Trixie asked the other toys. But before they could even answer, she tapped Rex with her horn. Tag, you're frozen, she called. The rest of the toys grinned and started to run as Trixie chased after them as fast as she could. Hey, Rex called out, still frozen. Somebody, tag me? Anybody? Soon, the toys were tired and decided to go back into the tent. How about a theatrical shadow puppet production, suggested Mr. Pricklepants. Great idea, said Woody. The toys used Bonnie's flashlight to make shadow puppets on the tent wall. First, Buzz made an airplane with his wings. Then, Mr. Pricklepants made an elephant by holding out his arm. Rex peeked outside the tent window. Gee, it sure got dark fast, he said. But before he knew it, Dolly made a pair of bunny ears behind his head, and everyone laughed, even Rex. Every sleepover needs a scary story, said Mr. Potato Head, clicking off the light. Once, there was a little toy that got lost in the forest. The very dark forest, he began. Rex started to shiver. Just like now, he said. Suddenly, there were footsteps, Mr. Potato Head continued. Just then, the toys heard footsteps outside the tent. Like now, Jesse gasped. A monster was coming, Mr. Potato Head went on. Ah! Rex shrieked as a huge shadow loomed over the tent. The toys flopped over and all went still. The tent flap opened wide. I'm back! It was Bonnie! She set the toys outside around the lantern. It wouldn't be the best camp out ever if we didn't toast marshmallows, she announced. The toys didn't say a word, but they couldn't have agreed more. And Rex was especially glad that there wasn't a real monster after all. The End Hello everyone, I hope you enjoyed the story. And that is the end of our class. We have finished another week of school. Today we reviewed everything we have learned about the seasons this past three weeks. We remembered the weather in each season. We shared our favorite stories for book week and we also worked on our little ABC book. I can't wait to see all of your favorite stories and I will see you next week. So long now, so long now, till next time, see you soon. It was so nice to have you here with me today.